guys so it's me nicolette and today i want to talk a little bit about priorities but let's get the boring stuff out of the way remember that none of my videos constitute as any financial advice if you are looking for financial advice please do consult a professional or an expert in that field all right so a few weeks ago i was invited to come and host influential fridays on kaya fm it was a blast but as you guys know I would never go in a platform as big as Kai FM and not speak about financial literacy. So I hosted a segment called Kai FM Save My Finances and I invited my two sisters in financial education, Sam Kim Songo and Mapala Maku, and we literally got into the conversation around financial education. Sam Kim said something very important. She said, Nicolette, the problem is that our relationship with money is adopted. It is created from a young age and it is never corrected up until we become fully functional adults that are financially illiterate. Why? Let's give you an example. When you were growing up as a child, one of the biggest things that you probably heard, it might be different in your family, it really was a bit different in my family, but a lot of people heard this very often. You as a child would go up to your parent and say, can I please have one, two, three, four? The one thing I wanted was a Tamagotchi. I don't know if you guys remember Tamagotchi. I really wanted a Tamagotchi and I wanted a CD Walkman all my life. And the response that you would generally get from your parents is, we don't have money. Right. Now, what does that to a child is that you end up growing to be an adult who says or attaches this idea of not having money equals not getting what I want. So therefore, when I have money, I must get what I want. And a lot of us take this for granted. But the thing is, it's a reality because it's a lived experience. And we all know lived experiences tend to, in button, tend to influence our decision making. Now, this is exactly the same thing that happens when it comes to priorities. Most of us know what we need to prioritize. It is now July and it is July Savings Month. So we are going to see numerous financial institutions speak about savings and why savings is so important. Investing will probably also get crept in there and why investing is very important. But then the one answer that we usually get, which let me, let me be honest, at some level probably is true, but another level it probably isn't true, is that people will say, but we don't have money to save. Then I sit there and I think that is the biggest self-inflicted scam I have ever heard in my life. And I'll tell you why. Because the same people that tell you that we don't have money to save are the same people that I see holding the latest iPhones, the same people that spend money on data, the same people that spend money on takeaways. And then they say to me, I don't have money to spend. And let me tell you that I know this for a fact because I get some of these people sending me emails and asking me to assist them. When I look at their bank statements, I am in shock because some of these people are spending 5,000 rand on takeaways or they're spending 3,000 rand on data every single month. And then it's, I, uh, I do not have money to spend and I get a bit of a shock. So I then say to myself, let's kind of investigate where the actual problem is. Here's where the actual problem is. It comes from the relationship that we've got with money. We've always been told that if you don't have money, you can't do a certain thing, right? Now that we've got money, we go out and buy all these things without deciding whether or not something is a want and something is a luxury or a need. So where do your priorities stand? Let's say, for instance, perhaps maybe we don't understand what the benefits of savings are or we don't understand what the benefits of investing are. That is a better reason to say why you do not invest or why you do not save than saying, I do not have the money to do it. Meanwhile, there are many other things where you are throwing money at that probably will never assist you in the long run. One of my colleagues used to say to me, Nicolette, a lot of people don't do things not because they don't want to, but because they don't know how. So let's take this idea of investing or let's take this idea of savings and relook at it and readjust it to a life that we live every single day. Because uh, usually when I speak about investing, people then say to me, yeah, but uh, we don't know where to invest or investing sounds very elitist and the financial institutions have made it very complicated. And yes, you are very correct because financial institutions have made savings and investing sound very elitist. They tell you about interest rates, they tell you about this, but there's nobody in this country that does not understand that for you to be able to make money, you need to buy a chappies, a 10 rand, right? You buy a packet of chappies at 10 rand. And you need to sell that at 20 rand for you to be able to make money. 
that you do not need to even figure out what interest rates are that is simple that's why in the lokshini mashonisa will always be a thriving business because mashonisa understands that i borrow you money at a certain amount of money and when you bring it back it needs to be more money that's simple that's simple math that we all do understand as people so why don't we now use that knowledge that we understand to go out there and save and invest so I'm going to challenge you this savings month that you need to re-look at your life. Re-look at what is very important to you and understand why your need for label and branded clothes is far more important than your need to invest. Because that for me is the question that you and I need to be asking ourselves every single day. Mwah.